Welcome back to News with Daku. Today we're going to have some more random news coming from around the world. An Idaho man uses his nose to inflate balloons for a world record. So serial record breaker David Rush earned his 173rd concurrently guild, guild? <laughs> held Guinness World Records title by using his nose to inflate 28 balloons in three minutes. Rush, who was on a quest to hold the most concurrent Guinness World Records titles, already held the one-minute version of the record, but the three-minute version took him 42 attempts to achieve. He was eventually able to inflate 28 balloons in the allotted time, enough to become a co-holder of the title with fellow serial record breaker Ashrita Furman. Man breaks his own world record for typing with his nose. An Indian man broke his own Guinness World Record by typing the alphabet in 25.66 seconds using only a keyboard and his nose. Vinod Kumar Chaudhary, 44, set, first set the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to type the alphabet with the nose in 2023 when he logged a time of 27.8 seconds, and he broke again the record again later in the year with a time of 26.73. Chaudhary has now broken the record a second time, managing the feat in 25.66 seconds. The rules of the record require Chaudhary to type all 26 letters of the Roman alphabet on a standard QWERTY keyboard with a space between each letter. An overdue book returned to finished library after 84 years. A book by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was returned to a library in Finland 84 years past its due date. Helsinki Central Library Udi said on social media that a person recently bought in a finished translation of Doyle's historical novel Refugees that has been due back December 26, 1939. Always better late than never, the post said. Librarian Hirni Strand said there was no information on why the book was 84 years overdue, but she offered a theory. Usually these kinds of loans return decades after the due date are books found when people go through to see the deceased relatives' belongings. Strand pointed out the book had been due back one month after the Soviet Union invaded Finland in November 1939. The return of the book might not have been the first thing on the borrower's mind when the due date approached. And finally, a bear steals a package of Oreos from a Californian home. A bear was caught on camera breaking into a California home and leaving with only one stolen item, a package of Oreo cookies. A video recorded in the canyon dress Crest Drive area in Monrovia shows a bear entering the home through a window and exiting with a package of Oreos dealing, dangling from its mouth. Neighbor Vena said the same sweet tooth bear, now known to residents as Oreo, previously visited her garage to steal her chocolate cake from her refrigerator. I feel I can't leave a window open even with a screen because he literally took the screen out, so that's a little alarming for me. Well, there you have it. Some Oreos, some records, and an overdue book. What next on our next installment? Stay tuned to find out.